Evening to you at 11 o'clock. I'm Frederick Price. The m and Food Mart on Montpelier Avenue is now barred from selling alcohol after a decision from county commissioners this week. Mayor Lester Miller says despite previous temporary actions, this could be good. Anthony Montalto explains how the county hopes this action will fight crime nearby. The m and has been in a fair bit of trouble the last couple of years. The county cites hundreds of emergency calls and dozens of crimes all emanating from this location. Now the county commission may have dealt another blow to the store in the hopes of curbing violence. Banu Partap complied with the list of required improvements to the property. That was one of the arguments m and attorney Brian Gerard made before commissioners Tuesday night. He was trying to reverse an earlier decision to revoke the store's alcohol license, but the argument didn't work out as planned. I'd like to make a motion that we accept the recommendation and deny. Mayor Pro Tem Seth Clark's motion triggered an 8 nothing vote to revoke the store's license for good. Multiple instances of criminal conduct um, at the store, including the fact that the store had been declared by courts to be a public nuisance. Nearly a year ago, the county sued the store, calling it a nuisance and a magnet for crime. A judge ordered the store closed temporarily, and the county says crime nearby dropped dramatically. Then in June, the county sued again, arguing the store violated the conditions of a court order that went into place when it reopened. They say crime is still a major problem near the store. Violent crimes or gang activity within 100 yards of the premises. With all that in mind, commissioners decided the place is not safe enough to sell alcohol. The conditions opposed had not been sufficiently effective to render the store location safe for the conduct of alcohol uh, beverage business. Now, I reached out to the owner, Banu Partap, to see if he'd speak with me about how this latest development is affecting his business, but I never heard back. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. Anthony, thank you. The m and still has a court date ahead with the county. Next month, a superior court judge will decide whether the store must close permanently or if it can stay open with certain conditions.